Rafun Professor. So this is our third assignment of MMIC class, uh, which is based on Passive Device Technology Chapter 2. Myself Prashant. I will explain about today's content for my presentation. Content is passive integration, comparison of defense passive integration technology, reason for why. IPD, why we are using IPD technology, foundry environment, layout, design, rule. Uh, problem arises with IPD, traditional process for manufacturing IPD, previous process for manufacturing IPD processes. So IPD integration, what is passive integration? Uh, the integration is relatively excellent yield. Output is very good very low temperature coefficient of resistance TCR excellent long term stability low stress extremely tight tolerance high uniformity a small critical dimension a great process flexibility high reproducible value from substrate to substrate and from batch to batch easy to service equipment with long up times so this is uh, some integration and uh, some advantages to IPD devices and IPD technology here MMC substrate come in three main forms so MMCL which is laminated MMC ceramic uh, and third one is MMCD which is deposited uh, the thin film and co-fired multi-layer ceramic technology such as LTCC and MCL uh, is laminated which is substrate is organic laminated multi-layer similar to standard printed wiring probe uh, using thin film structure on semiconductor or ceramic based any layers with deposit material conductor and dielectrics here is a comparison of method used for integrating the various substrate materials MMC MR substrate is FR4 LCP type is organic technology is thin film more than 125 micrometer and thick film for more than 50 micrometer process is trifilm PR and liquid PR MCM LTCC and HTCC ceramic more than 100 micrometer screen printed MCMT, HRS, gallium arsenide class, which is based on semiconductor inorganic material. Our film is less than 20 micrometer, which is used in semiconductor processes. So here are some examples of different type of passive ceramic electrolytic capacitor. Here we can see this is a capacitor, chip type capacitor. Here uh, in this form we can see chip type capacitor and uh, this is an integrated ceramic capacitor uh, which is uh, having a different type uh, denoted by the different codes here we can see in this picture comparison of different passive integration technology the performance perspective here we have the discrete passive device smd resistor smd inductor multi-layer ceramic capacitor and surface mount devices the integrated passive device HTCC, LTCC, which is have been used with the thick or thin film passive devices, embedded passive devices call. Uh, this increase integration level of active and passive devices in the integrated passive devices. SMD passive devices, uh, in this picture we can see the basically SMD passive devices is a various type of SMD for surface mount technology here. The surface is mounted by different chemical or organic material. Uh, Multi-layer ceramic passive devices. Uh, and this is an illustration of a multi-layer ceramic passive devices. Here we have a uh, solder balls uh, which integrated with the IC dive flip chip assembly and the conduct attached with the multi inductors here we can see in this picture and the wires and passive components digital is ICs wire bonded dies with connected 
the material inductor and material capacitor here and the coupler is also playing an important role for this one so this is a multi-layer ceramic passive device a multi-layer ceramic passive device application conductors and low low tangent uh, the application is um, in military services, space, automotive and medical electronic industries, high performance and excellent reliability. <coughs> Silver and copper are employed for the both of the surface um, embedded conductor, high conductivity conductor, and uh, ceramic material similar to poly uh, tetrafluorethylene based material, uh, prayers of the mil millimeter wavelength ranges. Here is some uh, picture of the multi-layer ceramic passive device. In this picture, two type of uh, multiple layer ceramic in the figures. We can see multi-layer ceramics and this is a multi-layer ceramic inductor. Uh, LTCC passive device. What the exactly meaning of that one? The LTCC method is a well-established multi-layer technology. In radio frequency and wireless application, we use RTCC technology to produce multi-layer hybrid uh, integrated circuits, uh, which is like uh, passive circuits, uh, passive devices, passive component is resistor, inductor, capacitor, active component in the same package also we use for this uh, device. This technology offers advantage over uh, other packaging technologies such as HTCC ceramic is generally fire flow. Uh, 1000 degrees Celsius due to spatial composition of the material. This permits co firing with highly conductive material like silver, copper, and co. RTCC passive device. Here we can see this is a cross section of RTCC module. Here we have ground plate, parallel plate, capacitor, and embedded register also, and couple lines. And the register is co connected here on the top and wire bonding, semiconductor tie. Here we have, and uh, this is the dielectric layers. Dielectric layers plays a very important role in passive devices. RTCC passive device. See, this is alteration. RTCC manufacturing process also. Uh, first, this, uh, this is a planking blank specific industrial uh, standard size and station hose. And then mechanical punching, uh, drilling laser formation or photo. Uh, patterning here we can see in this picture this is a hole and photo patterning and conductive ink silver or gold we can use both any of them conductor and passive component are deposited by screen printing this is a laminator called tape are aligned uh, laminated using a uniaxial or isostatic laminator at 200 atm at atmospheric pressure and 30 degree for tournaments co-fired in a two step at first uh, 500 degrees celsius the organic binder is burned out and the next one is ceramic material is defined as 80, 850 degrees celsius so this is a whole the uh, manufacturing process of rtcc devices this is rtcc passive device here we can see the fabrication first chip fitter made by Tunis uh, manufacturer. This is a color materials of uh, different type of material we use and sheet. This is called green sheet. And next, uh, sheet cutting and stacking and punching, uh, circuit printing on the sheet. Align and laminate uh, the, on the sheet and while filling, we fill it with material, gold and silver, and the cutting. Uh, firing at 500 or more than 850 and planting solution then we tip uh, the chip on the planting solution and here we have RTCC passive device after fabrication process RTCC passive device this is a, a scanning electrode picture we can see uh, with uh, at 600 micrometer This is a device, the limitation of RTCC, the tolerance of thick film passive component and minimal width of the film and shrinkage variation and inherently poor thermal conductivity. So that's why we uh, 
uh, didn't use too much for the LTCC passive devices in some uh, components. Embedded passive device. There are some uh, lots of advantage we have for the embedded passive device. Uh, this is also known as integral passive device, which is IPT, are buried within a structure and uh, being on the surface. Current 900 billion passive component, which is played a 3% role in the devices. Passive component replaced, no, no passive component replaced. This is a significantly reduction in overall system mass, means this is a light in mass, light in weight. Footprint by eliminating the surface mount. This is improved electrical performance, uh, also enhanced in this IPD device and increased circuit density through the space saved on the surface, design flexibility, reduction of parasitic effect, a shortening of the electrical connection and elimination of lead based interconnects and potential reduction in the overall cost. The cost is cheaper than the other devices and decreased production weight as well. Embedded passive device is a resistor and the capacitor connected in different methods. This is a component come from the broad surface embedded in a surface. In terms of electrical performance, uh, this is an uh, embedded passive device. Drastically lower passivity effect and surface mounts due to lack of surface leaves and the simplified passive structure. Uh, here we can see this is a picture of a good picture with the embedded passive device. Flexible picture, flexible device, we can say. Thin film passive device, which is having a high number of passive large area consumption factor. Uh, reduce assembly, increasing yield, high performance capability for mounting on active devices, high assembly cost, high placement time, and thin film multi layer system in comparison to LTCC and TFIPD. Uh, this is a foot picture of the photograph thin film capacitor and inductor. Uh, this is another photograph of TFIPD. Here we can see. Uh, a, uh, this is a GSM LPF, this is an inductor coil, and B is a WLAN baron, and C is uh, also same. Now, this is a diplexer we can see in this picture. P. RPD in this, uh, insulated high resistivity substrate such as carbon arsenide, aluminium, glass, plastic, HRS using a copper or AI thick material so this is development here we can see in this picture uh, silicon dioxide for the insulation we use because it's stable and reliable and RFI IPD due to low dielectric losses it's excellent flatness on the surface good thermal conductivity and heat dissipate heat quick quickly and low cost so we use that one for the most of the devices like a uh, uh, silicon dioxide or galvanium arsenide as well. This is a comparison of different passive technology, advantage and disadvantage, direct passive, easy to SMT and large size, LTCC is high integration, high frequency coverage, low yield uh, uh, with respect to RLC values, thin film on class which is uh, more reliable and uh, this easily can broken at uh, disadvantage, thin film or HRS reliable process, high yield and good thermal dissipation uh, with a uh, low frequency coverage but uh, limitation is that one thin film more high yield good insertion loads good power handling quick run time but the uh, cost is very high thin film is on ai low cost but low density cap here's a comparison of the thin film and thick film technology uh, from thickness nanomolar level to peak micromolar this is thicker than 20 micrometer publication is screen printed and is tutoring e-beam electro plating process and cost is literally very high uh, but this cost is uh, low high stability this is having low stability the capital is very high with respect to this one good accuracy and limit line and metal oxide we use this one and filler polymer we use in this is one width and space down to micrometer this is a millimeter and stable with time and humidity this is a limited liability 
size comparison is around this one we can see this is a area of PCB board is uh, 160 92 millimeter and this is a 6699 uh, millimeter so IPD size is increased uh, decreased here and this is increased size reason for IPD IPD can uh, reduce the system mass volume and footprint also IPD can improve the electrical performance IPD increase density flexibility and have innovative functions functions IPD improve liability due to its elimination of solder joint passive device can reduce the unit cost as well the time to market is found in moment the main IPD fabrication machines and the divided into four channel categories PECVD uh, plasma microwave track and 4.4 uh, EV uh, evaporator, cluster sputter, and electroplating machines uh, we have uh, used in this one microwave, ICP, re and lift off track, contact uh, uh, allegiant steps, e beam lithography, surface uh, poly filter, SAM, AFM, and 5 and pro station. This is the found environment. A fabrication step for the typical gallium arsenide IPD uh, incorporating. TRF, uh, spiral inductor, MM, MIM capacitor, and air bridges. This is a water passivation, vapor passivation, NICR, uh, metallization, thin film resistor, pulse of metal plating, then the position, and then open. Then uh, we got another step mask, uh, masking, air bridge metallization, the position, and the masking, and then testing. and Lapping and polishing as well. Uh, this is a found environment. This is pictures is the fabrication for this one cap stepper and plasma edge chemical property position and uh, focus and beam pump station and uh, iron etching plasma dry etcher. And this one is a uh, IPD process line. Now, uh, this is picture is for the Korea Advanced Nano Fab Center. For the fabrication layout and ICR TFR sheet dry stands and spiral inductor MIM capacitor transmission line this is uh, the layout of NICR TFR the width and the lat in this presentation resistance thick resistor uh, R is here resistance and L is effective length of the resistor W is effective width of the resistor contact resistance of 5 micro uh, 5 ohm and sheet resistance of 25 ohm equivalent NC pass circuit this is called same image of the whole NICR TFR here we can see this is amazing same picture of the device this is enlarged same image is a cross section photograph of an ICR TFR measured by FIB and B is enlarged cross section images. The layout of rectangular typical spiral inductor. Uh, this is the same photograph of the same fabricated spiral inductor. Uh, the top view of the basic spiral inductor and B is uh, basically enlarged air bridge structure. Here we can see the bridge structure. This one. This is a spiral inductor equivalent circuit. In this, we use inductor wall, series capacitance, shunt capacitance, and series resistance. This is a MIM capacitor layout in which we used uh, barrel plate capacitance, permissivity area of first plane uh, and the distance between two electrodes which is so called T. This MI, uh, am capacitor equivalent circuit inductor resistor and uh, capacitor here we use in this uh, equivalent circuit the photograph of the MIM capacitor measured by SAM the same image of the whole capacitor this is the whole capacitor and these cross section images Top metal is 5.08 micrometer and the bottom metal is 4.9 micrometer. 
transmission line, flat strip conducting material separated from a single ground plate. Microstrip has a higher radiation losses due to no sheet lines. Dielectric constant must be replaced with an effective dielectric constant T due to electric field and the electric air in the air. Width and length can be calculated from Van Loon microstrip equation or using a simulation for programs such as uh, linear scale EDS. This is a physical parameter of IPD fabrication process we already discussed previously. Uh, this is a scaling of the NICR TFR, microchromium TFR. Uh, this is a width in this black picture, 5 micrometer, and the length and the resistance. Uh, width is 10 micrometer for this one. Resistance is decreasing and width is 100 micrometer. Resistance is very less in respect, uh, respect to length. Because uh, width is directly proportional to inversely proportional to resistance. The scaling for the spiral inductor here we can see diameter it is increasing and uh, with the increase of diameter inductance is very low. If increase the di uh, diameter should be very low, means like 100 micrometer, then uh, we have got the inductance. Nano Henry very uh, low. This is a scaling for M, uh, M capacitor, capacitance, peak of wire, the length. If uh, we have a minimum micrometer width, then we will get the minimum capacitance. If the width is uh, maximum, then we will get the maximum capacitance in peak of wire. This is IPD problems. What problem we have? Uh, indecisions of the material and process indicated passives yield and toll lens indicated circuit yield impact toll lens and lack of costing models traditional process for manufacturing IPD thin fin build up technology to fabricate IPD tightly toll lens component with the fine geometry uh, this combination of factor has lead to a thin film build up along with RTCC Thin dielectric and uh, resistive films are formed and patterned to provide a resistor and ca capacitor element. Inductor are uh, created by patterning the material and matter layer. The fabrication process used by free scale semiconductor that is states JPEG, Telefan and Diamond Company and the ICM. This uh, free scale semiconductor based on Hydrojunction bipolar transistor. The process features with the 1.1 micrometer for metal 1 and 2.5 micrometer for metal 2 and 100 micrometer for metal 3. All of the place metal use TIW uh, and to gold speed prior to planting. And the process starts with the deposition of 200 angstrom of the TIW and metallization used for the low value resistor and the receivity of the refractory metal is 9.5 ohm per square meter. This is a cross section of the free scale semiconductor IPD technology. This we use uh, passivation, inductor, air bridge, and uh, MMI M capacitor. This is a gallium arsenide surface we use for the fabrication. Uh, here we have a uh, three layer M1, M2, M3. Uh, to uh, fill the cap and to poly uh, emit dielectric layers P1, uh, PI2, inductor, capacitor, and resistor is connected together. Uh, this is a cross section of the process offered by Telephos IPD technology. Here we have nickel chromium resistor, capacitor, and nickel gold pad and inductor. This is a cerium nitride. Uh, this is a three layers uh, metal one metal two and metal three which is having different width as well this is a picture of the cross section of the process offered by Taiwan IP technology here we have register inductor capacitor this is a glass surface which is a very cheap copper and polyamide three and uh, this is a TN and AI material, polyamide 2, polyamide 1, and TAO205 material. 
a process flow used for the fabrication of WL IPET. Here we can see 10 micrometer thick BCV polymer polymerization layer spin coating. We see the fully exposed to accept the area of fully dicing is and then we see B is uh, cured is an oven on and to atmosphere and then nickel chromium layer is deposited by sprut ring. Uh, this layer is masking by a negative photo resist. The resist is then removed by wet stripping followed by a short oxygen plasma treatment in an RIE machine. The copper is then masked by a photo resist here and the metal structure are more formed by electroplating copper uh, rest opening methods. A short dry edge step is an oxygen plasma is performed to remove the upper layer of the PCP. The interlayer polymer and this is for the purpose it spin coating process use the same BCB formulation as for the polymerization layer is applied. After polymer curing a tri edge step has to be carried out in oxygen SF6 plasma. This plasma treatment removes the BCB residues that have remained in the OIS after the development. For the realization of the second metal layer, the same process step are carried out as so far for the first layer. Electroplating of the metal structure, say we can see in this picture, and the register moved and the differential etching. Uh, like in figure E, and this one is uh, adhesion and seed layer are sprouted followed by spin coating and the photolithography definition of the masking process. This is a nickel deposition of the photoresist opening by electroplating. And after the resist stripping and the differential etching, an electroless gold deposition is made to protect the nickel pads from oxidization. Uh, this is a wafer uh, cleaning passivation with the acetone washing with wafer passivation and thin film register. Uh, with the uh, photolithography mask one, EBIM evaporation, and uh, FM uh, microlithography mask two. Here we can see, and then uh, first, first electroplating or PR sputtering RIE FM uh, T is equal to 5 micrometer uh, for the AU 0.5 micrometer, and for other copper 4.5 micrometer. This is a uh, NI. 3 and 4 deposition, material deposition with the thickness of 200 uh, nanometer. This is a photolithography for the Ni3 and 4 wire photography masking. Uh, this is the etching, tri etching, PR strip. A bridge uh, post lithography, this is filling with a post lithography masking 4. And second, uh, speed metal deposition, this here we can see with the sputtering at um, for the ti it is 20 nanometer and for the AU gold 18 nanometer a bridge metal photolithography masking for a bridge metal electroplating another one for the team 5 micrometer and for copper 4.5 micrometer and for the gold 0.5 micrometer this is a photo resist strip with the washing the with the acetone as well. Uh, this is uh, PR strip and SI3 and 4 final passivation. SI3 and 4 via photography mask 6, masking 6. Uh, and finally, we have a cross section of the previous process provided. Then we send limited IP technology. All the process has been done previously uh, and follow the steps. Uh, that's all for the, this presentation for IPD and embedded passive devices. Thank you, Professor.